Now before I put my frame on here, I want to emboss this wishing you. So it says wishing you peace. So I just realized I didn't actually say it. So the stamps that I'm stamping, the last card with the inside of the card and this one with the front, it's all from the same stamp set. And then the Peace, Joy and Mary die is all from the same die set. So those will be listed on your supply sheet if you were curious what they were. I also just realized that all of the stamps and dies are from Penny Black other than the square dies. All right, now we need our embossing ink. So the clear sticky ink to hold the powder. And I'm going to stamp the wishing you towards the left hand side so that I have room to put that piece die cut. Once again, flick it to get any of the excess off. If there's something where it's not supposed to be, you can either use your finger to rub it off or if it's too close to your image you can use um, just a soft brush and then let's emboss that This guy can get glued right to the front of the card here. Oops. And then let's glue down our piece die cut. Trying to put just a super thin line of that adhesive on there so it doesn't seep out. If it does seep out, it won't show up on the cardstock because it's completely matte and clear. But as you're moving things around, if you happen to get some onto the front of this, you will see it just because it's mirror paper. And if you get some of this adhesive on the front, because it's matte when it dries, you'll see a bit of, an, a bit of the image there. I'm just going to hold that for just a moment. Typically only takes a few seconds to hold it. When I'm done this, I will actually put a um, my acrylic block and my weight, my jar of uh, glass beads or whatever, weight down. So one thing I want to do on this one that's a little bit different from the last one is you saw me just put a couple holes in there. It's just from an eighth inch, eighth inch punch. You don't necessarily need to put the holes in there. You could put this bow on the front or on the top of it. But I just wanted to show you that you can actually attach it right to your card. And a little tip here, if you tie your bow upside down, then it usually works out pretty good. If you tie, if I have my card flipped over tied the other way, then the ends would be poking on the inside of my card. But by doing it this way, the little tails should be on the outside of the card. Not sure why it works like that. It just works like that. And then last step is just to cut those tails. I typically do an angle cut. I just think it looks prettier, but you could do a straight cut if you wanted. Those little tails I typically save them for other cards I'll just use them as a knot on there so there we go our card is complete I am going to put